Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we'll talk about what is Dart and the different features that Dart supports. What is Dart? Dart is the general purpose object oriented programming language. Synthetically, it is very much similar to Java and C Sharp. Dart was actually developed by the Google and it was designed by the two experts, Lars Bang and Casper Land of Google. Dart first time was introduced at GoTo conference in Denmark on 10th of October 2011. The first version of Dart was released in the November 2013 and the Dart 2.0 was released in the August 2018. Nowadays everybody is coming to the Dart and everybody wants to learn the Dart. The secret behind this is Dart is the official language for Flutter. That's the reason Dart is getting a boom in the market. Initially when Google developed the Dart. It was actually used only for working with the web applications. But later on, Google realized that can do many more things apart from the web development. That's the reason Google has selected Dart as the official language of Flutter development. Now, you guys might be thinking, what's the actual use of Dart for us? So Dart can be used for creating mobile applications, web applications, desktop application, as well as the server side application that can run on any platform. Now, what do you mean by any platform? Let's say you have some Dart and the Flutter project with you. The same project can be executed on a web, desktop, Android and iOS. You guys might be surprised or shocked how it's possible. In my upcoming videos, I will explain in detail how it's possible that single code base of Flutter or Dart can work in a variety of platforms. Now, Let's look at the features of Dart. Dart is the complete object oriented programming language. It supports all the features like class, interface, inheritance, polymorphism, object, encapsulations, abstraction, exception handling, all for you guys. In Dart, even a single variable and a method that you create is an object. Dart has multi platform deployment, meaning Let's say you have a Dart project, then the same Dart and Flutter project can be run over a variety of platforms such as web, desktop, Android and iOS. How it is possible? Definitely I will cover in my upcoming videos. If you are a person from Java, you might have heard about the multi-threading. Unfortunately, Dart has no multi-threading, it's a single threaded language. Instead of that, Dart supports asynchronous programming. In my upcoming videos, I will explain in detail what is asynchronous programming, how to perform that one using async, await and feature concepts. Only for this video, just understand that using asynchronous programming, it's possible to run multiple tasks of the program without blocking your UI. Dart has an extensive set of libraries. When you install the Dart SDK or Flutter SDK, you will get the built-in libraries like Core, Async, HTML, I.O., Math and so on. Apart from this, pub.dev is the official website for Dart and Flutter libraries where you can find a huge set of libraries for Flutter development. Dart is a platform independent. That is, it doesn't matter on what platform you are. Windows, Linux or maybe a Mac, Dart is available for you. Dart has type safety and null safety. So type safety is the concept that ensures that the value that you are assigning to variable must match with the type of variable. And in null safety, you might have seen uh, in so many programming that uh, nulls are really problematic. By default, the value of variable remains null when it is uninitialized. So that has a concept called null safety that can prevent null values from getting in the variable. In my upcoming videos, I will separately explain the type safety as well as null safety in detail. Dart is open source and freely available for you. And last but not the least, it's easy to learn. Definitely, whether you are a beginner or you have some programming experience, you will feel that Dart is really easy to understand because all the concepts and the syntaxes are very much familiar to the existing languages such as C, C++, Java and C Sharp. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video where we'll talk about how Dart works in the development and the deployment environment.
so if you really like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos